Hello everyone, it is DrawnLegg G here, and apparently, I am going to be playing a cow game. Play their little game. Uh, ooh. Which battle would you like to recreate? Battle of Cow Ridge, Battle of Medley, Lobber's Battle, Early Skirmish. Oh, is this me? Sure this is me. So, uh, I need to smite these guys. Uh, do the target for 5 HP. Molting human will be utterly destroyed. Face the target set by 1. This will not end your turn. Uh, so, that one is my turn either. Alright, so. Wall of Beef does not attack. We'll attack whatever is directly in front of him. So, I'm just gonna use this on myself. Master of Cows! So, that requires a Oh, shoot. What? Oh, it's, he heals them. That's BS. Destroy him. Oh, and now this guy isn't going to do anything. Matt, why'd I do that? So, I, I think I'm pretty low on health, but I only have 10. So, let's go ahead and kill this guy. And... 6 HP. Alright, so, kill myself for 5 HP. And attack. I'm gonna lose. Alright, so, I, I know what I need to do now. I know what I need to do now. Haha, <laughs> wow, not what I would call an effective strategy. Pah! Same thing. So, I need to kill this guy first. Well, I know, I need to upgrade his stats first. And then destroy him. So that he, he will continue to take damage. And now I can go ahead and attack this guy. Alright, so we only got one guy left. Alright, so now, I can increase my own AP. And attack. I'm gonna lose now again. I only deal freaking three damage attack. All right. All right. So now I've, I've still got action points left. So I'm gonna. All right. Gonna smite him. Kill him. Killing him. And then I can kill this guy easily. So I kill my increase my stats by one. And smite him. I don't have anything to attack. Yay! We'll dumbly attack whatever is directly in front of him. Yay! That's right. Alright, I'm I'm gonna leave for now. Uh let's go to the mess hall. Spitty! I'll never understand you. Alright, well, you crouch down next to the spittoon. From the nauseatingly sweat stent, sweet stench coming off it, it appears that these nerds haven't been using it as a makeshift urinal, as you may have suspected, but rather they're using it bright yellow lemon-lime soda-flavored chewing tobacco. Unless... Well, there, th another possibility is that they have been using it as a urinal, and they are all extremely diabetic. Which, now I, th now, now I think about it, is a real possibility. In fact, it is probably both these things are true. Really? You're just gonna put your hand in the nerd's piss and or spit duck bucket. Just gonna dive right in there, huh? Just gonna splish splash around the sticky yellow broth of spit and pee with no restraint whatsoever? Sure am. Ooh. Plus six muscle. Neat. Black caliber Deals stench damage instead of physical damage. Plus six muscle. Requires stench resistance. All right, let me get my offhand. Twenty-five mysticality. Ooh. Kurtz Kurtzift pant. Kurtzfit pants. Plus seven muscle. Plus three armor. Plus minus two moxie. Why am I removing my moxie? I need this. I, I have like zero mysticality. <laughs> Requires 25. Ooh. Meh. 
All right, so now I have enough mysticality for it. Study them. You pour over the rules until you understand them perfectly, even enough to realize that they're for an entirely different game than these guys are actually playing. Oh well, at least you sort of learned something useful. Fundamentals of next next. Race skill till buddy skill. Ooh. Yes, it's dangerous. Read it. Right skeletal buddy. Examine skeleton bones in your inventory to enchant them. White hair. Your hair has... Wow. Okay, then. That's that's not fair. Uh, Encircle it. Encircled skeleton bones. Summon a skeleton to protect you. Okay, then. You've bound an unfortunate spirit into this bone. At your urging, it will spring forth into an entire skeleton and get between you and those who would justifiably do you harm. <laughs> oh, what's up? Not into the game? Nah, I mean, I like games. That's why I hang out with these guys. But I've gotten bored of these strategy war games. I want something different. Well, I like playing with the guitar, so I was thinking some kind of guitar game where you pretend you're in a band and you have to hit the right chords. That sounds hard if you don't already know how to play the guitar. Yeah, I was thought of making it like a real simplified version of guitar, but then it would be much fun for me. I have an idea. Instead of pretending to play in a band, why don't you join an actual band and play guitar for real? I know a place that's looking for talent. Do I? Oh, the Jewel Saloon. I don't... Huh? Put my guitar skills to actual use? That's not a bad idea. Okay, cool. It's a Jewel Saloon in Dirtwater. Tell them I sent you. Thanks a bunch. I'm heading out right now. Godspeed, guitar man. All right. Battle of Cow Ridge. All right. Didn't I already win this one? Surrender. Oh, I did win that. Okay. The Battle of Medley. Ooh, we got a bunch of guys here. Is that some necromancer? Cow cultist. All right. So, army medic. I need to attack him. Uh, those are grenades dealing two damage to every unit on your side. Okay, so smite him. Oh. We got multiple wounded soldiers. Now. No, not the cow cultist. No, the cow cultist is dead. What? What the heck? Okay, so that guy's dead. That guy is now dead. It's 3v1. Jeez. That was terrible. <laughs> okay, so I think I need to kill the grenade here first. Demon Hunter. Highest mysticality. I'm pretty sure that would be. No, that would be this guy. Shoot. And that, this guy restores 1 AP to me every round. But... It's a ISHP. Alright, so let's go ahead... And smite this guy. Multiple wounded soldiers! Okay, okay. So I have three action points now, still. Uh, and I can take out... I can't take out any one of them, just myself. Uh... Alright, so I decided to heal all my guys. Let's take care of the healer. Yes, now that guy's dead. And I've got one more HP again. This guy is... Oh, shoot, what? I had the highest HP? Alright, try this again. Okay, so... Most HP. Oh, shoot, this guy goes before this guy, so that, that would make me the one thing. Oh, man! Gee, 
Jeez, we got this guy toasty. Although, I, if I can't kill him this round, then I'm gonna die. So, increases the target stats by one. I don't know what the stats do for these guys. Alright, smite him and kill him, please. Yes! Alright. Lobbers battle. Oh, we got a bunch of grenadiers. I have five action points, so... At least they don't have any healers. Alright, so let's go ahead and take out... These guys, I guess. And we all take a bunch of damage. Yeah. Oh shoot, this is gonna be really tough. Shoot. Okay, so I heal myself, heal him, heal him, and attack this guy so that cow can go after the next guy. Jeez, this is tough. So tough. After this, I'm not gonna have any more AP either. Uh, heal myself because I I need more HP. I've only got six HP though. Uh, so and then smite this guy. Okay, okay. So, so that guy's down. Two HP, two HP. So I need to heal myself. And then this guy is gonna take this guy out, and I can go after this guy. But this guy, oh, that's gonna take me three turns, which I have now. Yes. All right, come on, it's just one on one, one on one, man. Come on. Finish this. Oh, boom. Early skirmish. Alright, so another, none of these guys are attacking. Uh, this highest physicality could be either of these guys. Dumbly attack whatever is in front of him. Let's destroy one of these guys. Just so that this guy won't die immediately. Alright, so now I have four action points. And I can heal for five one of these guys. I think these guys don't mind damage, so there's no point in having that there. Uh, let's go ahead and heal that guy. No, let's, let's increase the stats of this guy so that he becomes the next target. And then I can kill one of these guys. He'll take the last blow, he will take the next blow, and then I can smite him next round. This will work out. I have two action points. Shoot. Uh, not work out as planned. Alright, so I'm gonna attack this guy normally. Uh, okay, but now I have enough action points to take out this guy. But now this guy is gonna be my problem. So, heal, and attack. So I need two more rounds. I'm not going to get two more rounds. Wow. Man. So close. Alright, so I know my first move is to, is to kill one of these guys. I know that has to be my first move, because otherwise this guy gets destroyed instantly. Alright, so increase this guy's physicality. And then I have three more action points where I can... This guy's deal five damage, I think. Do I need to kill this guy? 
I think that might be the case. Never mind, I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. I, 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 Matt! You did it wrong! Okay, I think I know what I need to do now. When I get my chance, I need to kill this guy. So, let's smite this guy normally. Oh shoot, no I can't. I can't do that, I can't do that. Okay, so this guy's gonna kill me, that guy's gonna die. But I have four action points so I can smite this guy. I got to heal myself! Actually, I wanna see what happens when I don't beat those guys. When I don't buff this guy. Oh! So it just, it just does it normally. So then I can kill this guy. Oh, I need to kill this guy first. I think I know what I need to do. Because these guys should both attack for the same amount of damage to me. But, I can heal if I kill this guy first. So I got two action points now. And I can heal all the damage that I just took. And I can just keep doing that until I kill it. Ha ha ha! Or I could do this, get three action points total, and destroy him! Boom! I win! I won all the battles. You railed the early servers of 1884. Wow, you're really good at this game. Getting good was the only way to keep my little brother from lording it over me all the time. I feel like we should give you some kind of prize. Um, I've got some leftover guns from when I was gluing the figurines together. Want them? Much really small guns. Handful of tiny pooter guns, which presumably serves some purpose in the games they play at Fort Memoriam, but could, which could also be used to outfit a small army of elves. And I, I don't need to play anymore. Whew. I'm king of the nerds. Uh, Jeff, you like this game? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Work on some of the rule mods for naval combat, so we can do older wars, though. Uh, like Conquistadors and Vikings and stuff. Conquistadors versus Vikings would be pretty cool. Man, I know, right? Uh, how'd you get into this? Well, I have a lot of time to read at my job. Mostly I read a lot of history. So when I saw a flyer for this historical reenactment thing, I thought it sounded pretty interesting. They had already quit doing real reenactments by the time I joined, but this, sound this is pretty good, too. And painted figurines gives me something else to do at work. Uh, talk to this guy. Ernie! What is this kinetoscope reel you're talking about? Oh man, you haven't seen the, the Dixon Experimental Sound film yet? It's ex it's amazing. What's it about? Well, there's two guys dancing. Well, a third guy... Well, a third guy plays violin with a huge cone. You can actually hear the violin. It's so great. And the fourth guy walks in. And what does he do? Nothing. That's when he ends. Sounds pretty avant-garde. How's the game going? Pretty good, we're, working, we're on a real witness streak. If we'd been in charge of the army when the real war happened, things might have gone a lot differently. Probably the real war was a lot more unbalanced in terms of unit allotments. Hmm, good point. Uh, take your leave. Talk to this guy. Now we're for one. Alright, so... Yep, yeah, I want to talk to this guy. Mom made Rufus stop drinking that brand of soda after he didn't sleep for four days and started yammering about putting our cat in a box to see if it was alive or not. I'm Jimmy D. I'm Muddy. So how do you like this game? It's pretty good. I prefer the science fiction version though. What's that like? It's real interesting. It has vehicles that move without horses and guns that fire more than once before reloading. Wow, that sounds really imba. How'd you get into this? I was in the actual war. Made it out with only a few scars and a limp. Fortunately. On account of I spent the whole thing hiding in the cave. When I heard about reenactments, I signed up for to find out what I missed. Not a whole lot like what you missed. Yeah, better for, better snacks for one. Uh, take my leave. So I guess I beat them all. 
So. I have the king of the nerds. All right, let's find somewhere else to go. Uh, West Pole. I wonder what that is. Fight. Oh, it's that one. Pew, pew, pew. Buffalo skin pants. Six muscle and three armor. That's actually pretty decent. Alright. Mess with the rocks. Uh, something suave. Geek. A cheeky gesture. Step back and admire your handwork. You got a perk. Heavy trigger. Heavy trigger finger. Three pistol attack damage. Nice. <laughs> uh, something mystical. Got 100 XP. Song of Spheres. Plus five spell damage. Oh. Uh, something powerful. Impregnable tower. Heart of stone. 10 maximum HP. Neat. Let's try normal stuff. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what I should be doing here. Alright, so let's go to some place else. Reboot Hill. Collect this nectar. Matt! I need foraging. Reboot Hill. Don't worry, it's just paint, not blood. It's not blood, guys. Don't worry. Oh, we've got a ghost person. Howdy, ma'am. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, it's so awful. I can't remember. I can't remember at all. Let's start at the beginning, okay? Well, you see, I had four daughters. They married four brothers, the Smith boys, and after that, they each had five daughters of their own. Unfortunately, I lived with every one of the 24 of them. Ah, uh, so you know your ghost, right? Oh, yes. In fact, I died here in this graveyard, where they are all buried. I came to visit them, and I suppose my poor old heart finally gave out. That's not the problem, though. 95 years is a pretty good run, after all. So what'd you forget? I brought this bouquet of flowers to put on my favorite granddaughter's grave, but I can't remember which one of them was my favorite. I'm so ashamed I can't bear to leave until I've remembered. Well, I see. Maybe I could help you figure it out. Uh, can you remember anything about the granddaughter? Ended in a vowel. I should write this that stuff down. Okay, so my list of qualifications. Ended in a vowel. Name ended, first name ended in a vowel. Uh, 53 to 55 years old, which is the same age as Becky, so it's not Becky, whoever Becky is. Uh, first name was longer than the last name, wasn't buried next to any daughter, and favorite hobby was knitting. Little Becky. I'm sorry, what? Shoot, what year is this supposed to be? Matt, she's not 50... Okay, so she is uh, 16 years. 16 years? Wow. 16 years old. Huh. Penelope. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is gonna be... Okay, so... First name editor vowel. Okay, so... Qualifier... Number one... Penultimate. Penultimate. Except she was 24, so... We can cross that out. So, this one... 50... More than 20. Too much. This was 15. And but the name is not first name is not longer than the last name, so it's not Paula. Lenore. That was that's 16. So Lenore. Uh, that is not 16. So not 16, not 16, not 16, not 16, not 16, not 16. Oh. Okay, you uncover a coffin that was separately 
apparently delivered by mail because it still has the address printed on it. Either that this was a joke about somebody going to Hellstrom Ranch after they die. Uh, Melissa Smith. Okay, so I think I think we are good on this area. Alright, so here lie the sweet gang. May they never wake up. Well, I just killed them. So sweet sword. Plus six moxie. Nice. What do I currently have? Plus six pixel attack damage. I think I'd take the moxie rather than the attack damage. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Because the only one that seems to qualify is Lenore Smith. I'll be back in a minute. Just, just double checking. Just double checking. Oh shoot, Pamela is also... Also 16. Uh, so is little Becky Smith, but little Becky is uh, not our person. It's 19. I presume that. Man, where are the daughters? Because I don't know who the daughters are. Shoot, I just realized there are two Beckys. Okay, so, since this Becky lived to be more than 30, I'm going to go ahead and assume that they're talking about this Becky, who only lived to be 16. It's either Lenore or Pamela. this person because this one was 1820 1841 that's a difference of 20 years so it's Lenore Smith okay yes, I, I really hope I got this one uh, did her name start with an L was it Le Lenore Alright, so I think I'm gonna leave that episode here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, please make sure to smash that like button in the face. Like a boss. And I will see you in the next video. But for now, just swim your way to victory. Farewell. <laughs>